Island fans, welcome back. It's been a while, but that's okay because I'm already back. It is Wellness Wednesday. I love Wellness Wednesday because it's like halfway through the week. So that means that we get to kind of calm down, relax, think about, you know, the fun weekend that's about to arrive. Because, you know, in the beginning of the week, it's kind of like, ugh. All right, here we go again. And I know, I know that you're probably feeling burnt out, tired of being at home, tired of having the Zoom, tired of just doing a whole bunch of stuff. But I wanna let you know that this is actually the last week of April. So we are getting to the finish line. Woohoo, getting to that finish line. I am so excited because Ms. Wright has been tired as well. I may be pregnant, but I'm tired. And I am ready to, let's see, really look forward to some new adventures. And I know that you are too. So with that being said, I want to remind you that, um, to, that you need to stay strong. I want to remind you to be courageous. We have worked so hard. We've done countless guidance lessons announcements and we have really kept it going you have done things with your teachers you've been reading you have been writing you have been counting you've been drawing you've been playing you've been doing it all and so i really want to tell you well done you are really really making it through and we are almost to the finish line friday is may whoop, whoop. next week is the launch of a new closure so i want you to take some time to really think and reflect on this school year. I don't want you to leave off on a bad note, and I'm gonna be saying this a lot through the next announcements, like, oh gosh, you know, this school year was the most horrible school year ever. I didn't get to do this, I didn't get to do that. It's okay if you choose to think that way, um, because those are your feelings, but I am going to challenge you to find some positive and not sit with that negative because I don't believe the whole entire year, every single day was just completely negative. You know at Bradley, we build memories. And so I want you to think about those memories. Think about the things that you're grateful for, that you're thankful for. Maybe some of the things that you did this year um, that you're very proud of yourself for accomplishing even before we didn't have school. Because remember, it's only been like a couple of months. So majority of the school year, I mean, we had award celebrations, we had brain breaks, your teachers were um, doing show and tells and just all kinds of things. Maybe you made some new friends. Maybe um, there are some other new things that happened in the school year. Really think about that and cherish those memories and be grateful for that um, as we begin to close out the year. All right, so I'm going to give it away to Dr. Butler and Miss Gomez for their words of wisdom brought to you by Project Wisdom. And I will see you again on Friday. Hey, Bradley Bears, this is Dr. Butler. This is Miss Gomez. And we're your principals with a few words of wisdom brought to you by Project Wisdom. Have you ever noticed how success seems to come more easily to some people than others? Success with, with friends or success with money, success at school. Booker T. Washington once said that we shouldn't decide who has the most success by the money they have or the job they have or even the friends they have. Instead, we should look at the challenges a person had to overcome to get where he or she is. Some of us have more problems in the ways of our success than others. But what matters most is how you've improved what you overcome. If you focus on your progress and keep moving forward, you can step into a more successful future. What this means to me, Dr. Butler, is sometimes success we see as an end point, and really, the whole thing is a journey. Every day, as long as we're getting a little bit better, we are successful. You're right, and I agree with that. And I also, it makes me think we should stop, and we should look back mm -hmm. at all the things that we've overcome so we should, can be appreciative of those challenges, and it should give us strength for the challenges to come. So today and every day, remember to be a person with integrity and try to do the right thing. And now for our character trait, perseverance. Ready? Do it with us. Here we go. Perseverance. That's right. Perseverance is the power to continue to do something no matter how hard it may seem. With something to think about, this is Dr. Butler. And this is Ms. Gomez. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours.